Hey Polish Peeps, welcome to my channel. I guess welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. So this is a um, spring rack. Are we on a spring rack? We're on a spring rack. Spring rack <laughs> um, video. And of course, as always, there's lots of other participants. Um, yeah, I feel so naked right now. Like I need something on my lips. I just finished working out. So yeah, I'm not looking my finest right now. But anyway, I digress already. Um, we are, um, all participating in this collab, of course, so I will list all the participants in the description box below. Um, this is my rack here behind me, as per usual. Um, I usually fill these four rows right here, not this bottom row at the bottom where y'all can't really see it, but these four rows just on this side of my rack. And, um, I always, as usual, have a really hard time picking. I'm actually still not quite happy with my rack. Like, it has to look aesthetically pleasing on this side and, like, just scream spring. And I'm not sure if it's doing that for me right now. <laughs> so, I still may make some more additions or add or take something away. But this is what we have right now. And I'm late posting this video, so I want to go ahead and get this video posted. Um, so let's go through the polishes. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at it now. I'm just like, it just doesn't scream like spring to me. Um, I've really been trying to pull from my older polishes so I can get some of those worn. I have a lot of new polishes like out, you know, in various places in my room. And so I tried not to pull from those, even though they're like there and they're staring at me and I'm like, oh, that'd be perfect for spring. But I tried to pull some of my older polishes so I'm struggling right now, but <laughs> we're just going to roll with it because this is what we've got. Okay. Also, at the beginning of the month, I wore a lot of green polishes that were actually on this rack, but I've already worn them. So since I already wore them, I removed them from this rack and I replaced those spots on my rack. So I will go over those that I have worn because I wore them for... St. Patty's Day, like all the way up until, I think I wore green polish every day all the way up until St. Patty's Day. Um, well, maybe not every day, but almost every day. So I'll go over those as well, and I will try to post swatches of the ones that I wore. Um, that way, you know, I will not be leaving them out completely because they were a part of my rack. Um, okay, so we're going to start from the bottom. I'm going to try to go through this quickly. This is actually one, this is Spirited Away from Polish Polish, and I actually wore this one yesterday, so I will insert a swatch of this one. Y'all, I love this. Fell in love. It is so pretty. Um, we also have Candy Coated from May PPU 2020 from Night Owl Lacquer. I also originally didn't have enough purple polishes on here, and if y'all are new you may not know purple is my jam y'all i'm sorry if my glasses glaring is distracting but i can't see because i'm i'm going blind in my old age <laughs> so yeah i just celebrated my 39th birthday it's very exciting again <laughs> and i'm going blind um so Anyway, yes, I had to pull more purple polishes to put them on my rack because I just, and I still don't feel like I have enough purple, but if it were left up to me, this whole side would be purple. So <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, I also pulled Synapse, two Synapse. This is from a polish pick, it, pick up at some point. It doesn't have a year on here or month or anything, but that's from Polish. Polish. This is one that actually just got transferred from my fall rack because I really, really, really want to wear it and I did not wear it and I was like, I don't care. I'm going to wear it. I think I can make it springish. At least I'm going to because it's a magnetic, but this is I Need Space from January PPU. My children are in the background, you guys, so hopefully they're not making too much noise, but whew. This is so pretty, y'all. I was like, I've got to wear it. I, I, it's one, it's one of like maybe three or four that I didn't wear for my ball rack, and I just couldn't pull myself to take it off. <laughs> so we're gonna wear that one. I also pulled Sisters in Sales. This is Nine Zero Lacquer, and it's from their Animal Crossing collection. 
and I really like Animal Crossing. I play it with my um, my eight year old, so I really enjoy that game. So when that collection came out, I was like, I've got to have it. This is Release It to the Universe from I think this says Never Settle Nail Polish. I don't even remember where I got this from, but I feel like it was a PPU polish. But look how cute those like glitter combination is. So pretty, and this might actually be the only polish I have from this brand. brand. So we're gonna see what that looks like. This is just like a circus from Glam Polish. And look how fun that is. This one I feel like could be spring or summer, but I just thought it was really cute. And I was like, oh, I wanna wear that. There's a lot of Glam Polishes that I could have pulled for my <laughs> spring rack, but so I'll definitely be pulling some more of them for my ball rack. This is another one that I've already worn. This is the King of Bad Thanksgiving and I wore it this week so it was recently but look how pretty that is. This is Moonshine, Moonshine Manny and this was from their friends collection. Um, this is, ooh, what does that say? I really cannot see y'all <laughs> at all. This is Mangrove Kingfisher from Dimension Nails. Y'all, I think this is a good transition polish. I will say now that we're getting like lots of pretty weather, I'm like, okay, this may be a little too dark for me to wear as a transition polish because I feel like the transition just was, was like fall and then all of a sudden spring. So <laughs> it's a little dark, but I'm sure we'll find a day to wear this and maybe do some nail art with it to make it more spring appropriate because it seems kind of like, I don't know. Maybe I'll wear it on a cloudy day. <laughs> um, this is Munchies from Cirque Colors. And yes, I know, you guys know, I hate yellow, but I had to put some yellow on my spring rack because, because I just had to. <laughs> if I don't make myself wear them, I won't wear them. So I picked this one. It's kind of bright, I think, for spring, but I don't know. For some reason, I was like, ooh, spring. That looks like spring. It's going to take everything within me to wear it. I'll probably wear it in combination with something else just so that it's not just all yellow on my nails because the thought of that right now is not enticing. This is Nydra from July 2021. Hella Handmade Creations Night Owl Lacquer. Ooh, look at that pretty turquoise in those flakies. So pretty. Okay, we're moving up to the next row. I tend to let the polish just kind of seep around the corners a little bit so I have more space. This is Bitchin' from uh, Cirt Colors. It's a really pretty, gorgeous purple. So pretty. I cannot wait to wear that one. And this is... I'm not sure why I feel like this said spring. I think it was just... I wanted to wear it and I was like, oh, I can wear this for spring. Um, I remember when I saw swatches of this and I really wanted to buy it. This is My Private Palace from Julie, I think it's Julie G, Julie G Nails or Julie G Lacquer. I got this on Amazon along with a few other colors from this brand. This looks really fun and I'm just kind of interested to see how it's going to look on the nails. Um, this is from Koki Nail Polish, and this is Splendor, or yeah, Splendor. It's a gorgeous shimmery orange. I guess an orange with like a gold shimmer. Um, I have a couple of from this brand, and I really enjoy this formula, or the formula for this brand. Like I have, I think maybe two or three polishes from this brand, and I wanna buy some more. Every time I go into Sally's and I see this brand, I'm like, oh, I need to pick up another one. But I'm excited to wear that one. This is Fairy Godmother from the Fantastic um, Fall Collection from Wildflower Lacquer. I think I polished, I, I think polished, I think I purchased every polish from this collection. Um, so this is um, the green from that collection. It has some really pretty flakies. Again, not one of my favorite colors. Green is not, it's not, but I try to be very versatile and, you know, add a lot of flavor to my polish racks um, because 
there's obviously a reason why I bought it. You know, there's it, I was pulled to it for some reason. So I'm like, I should wear it. Even if, like, it's not what I'm feeling right in that moment. Um, this is Hot and Hazy from Simple Colors. And this is from their um, Sheer Matte Collection. So I'm looking forward to doing kind of like a jelly sandwich kind of nail art thing with this one. Um, this is I Lava You from Glam Polish. And it is like a, first of all, it needs to be shaken up, but... The base is like, it's like a peachy base, um, like a peachy orange base with like a lot of holographic shimmer in it. So that one looks really fun. I also pulled Dumicorn from Polish Pickup 21 June. And I pulled this one because I kind of wanted to make a comparison because Beastie's Lacquer is actually coming out with a sister polish to this one. That I may pick up just because I have this one so you know if you have the other polish you have to have the sister polish like that's just a thing that <laughs> that has to happen but y'all oh my gosh y'all this is so freaking pretty I can tell already without even without even putting this on my nails this is gonna be a favorite for me for my spring wrap I also pulled curious oysters from the Alice in Wonderland um, series for HHC. Um, this was number one of that series. And it needs to be shaken up. But you guys can probably tell it has like a purple base with a lot. It looks like a shimmer, uh, like gray shimmer. Um, and it's just, it's very shimmery. The base is really light, so... The polish itself is mostly shimmer, and I'm going to love that. It's going to be gorgeous. I also pulled Are These 24 Karat from the Up the Creek Volume 5 collection from Wildflower Lacquer. Don't ask me why I needed gold on this rack. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the time I just saw it, and I was just like, I've got to have it, and I've got to put it on my rack. Like, I don't know. This is picture as like not picture like as a picture but p-i-t-c-h-e-r this from kb shimmer i have a bunch of kb shimmers that i am dying to wear it looks so pretty it's gorgeous this is actually what is on my nails right now this is i could vomit just looking at you from wildflower lacquer um the golden girls collection I bought several from that collection too. And y'all, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love this. Look how pretty that is on my nails. I would probably wear this again with a blurring base coat, but it takes an act of God to cover up this nail line, y'all. So a lot of the time I don't even try. And this is so pretty. I don't even think it really matters, but oh my gosh, I love this. So pretty. Actually, one of those rare occasions when green is my jam, because I was like, oh my gosh. I love it. Um, this is See You in Six Months from Moonshine Manny. And this is from the Part-Time Lovers. Um, I think she did a couple of volumes of the series, but I don't remember which volume this was. But, of course, obviously, it's purple, so I was like, give it to me. Um, I also have... This is from... This is from Ethereal. This is... From Ethereal before I fell in love with Ethereal, like way before, because it was it's just been like within this past year that I've fallen in love with Ethereal lacquer. Um, but this is from December 2018, and this is um, from PPU. And this is Spell Frost, and as you can see, it's purple. So yes, that is hence why I fell in love with it. And I have another one right next to that one. This is Cuticula Magically Delicious from May 2020 Polish Pickup. This one is scented. Um, no idea what it's scented like. And I probably won't be able to tell. Because I find with scented polishes, you really can't... No, you can't. The scent doesn't really, you know, like, become the scent that it is until after your nails are painted and it dries. So, I'll be interested in whatever scent this was supposed to be. Some people don't like scented polishes. I kind of like them. I don't, I don't know why. So my cat's attacking my dog. <laughs> so 
So I tend to um, buy my like base coats and top coats in scented sen 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 um, polish sometimes because I like to have my nails smell like something. <laughs> no, it might seem kind of strange to some people, but I like it. Anyway, this is Polish Pickup um, June 2020. This is Peachtree Party from Peachtree Polish. And it is orange with those gorgeous green shifting flakies. Oh, those are so pretty. I feel like I'm really going to enjoy that one. I tried to pick some solid colors to go on my rack too. This was also one that I picked with the intention of wearing it for St. Patty's Day. I picked a lot of greens and just didn't get a lot of you know, time to wear them all. But I did leave some of them on my rack so that I could wear them during spring. So this is Emerald Bay from China Glaze and it's like a I don't know it's, I don't know how you describe this green it's like a it's not grassy green or warm tone maybe it's, it's maybe it's like a warmer tone green like it leans kind of turquoise a little bit it's just my type of green we'll just go with that this is Kiwi Crush from 90 Lacquer have several from this line that they make with these super fun black flakies decided to wear that one this is one that everyone wears for Christmas but I missed it at Christmas time because I didn't have it I bought it sometime after Christmas and I was like I really don't care that it's not Christmas I'm going to wear it this is celebrate celebratory from um, China Glaze and it has those bar glitters that everyone goes crazy for in this polish. Um, I'm not a big fan of bar glitters but when I've seen this swatch I was like oh my gosh that looks so cool like so cool. So we're just gonna pretend like this is grass for spring and we're gonna wear this. <laughs> we're just gonna ignore the Christmas name because that does not mean anything when it comes to putting polish on my nails. Don't pink the water. This is, y'all, I cannot even see. Flirtin'. I think that's flirtin'. Flirtin'. I think I got this from Polish Pickup, but it's not on the name. But it's a really pretty bubblegum pink. Looks like it has a little bit of shimmer on there. I remember seeing swatches of this, and there was a reason why I was drawn to it. I feel like I won't know or like recognize that reason until I wear it but it actually looks like it's darker than it, like it has like an ugly bottle syndrome so it's lighter on the bottle but like the base is like a really pretty like bubblegum pink I'm sure that's why I picked that one up I also pulled I'm sorry I'm not a condom also from the Upper Creek volume 4 collection from Wildflower Lacquer y'all does this not say spring? Like, look at that. Look at those flakies. I love that. It just it just reminds me of like sun reflecting off the grass for some reason, even though it's not a green polish. But that shimmer is and okay, y'all. It doesn't look <laughs> it looks green to me. It's it's a green shimmer, I promise. But if you look at it from back here, you can't see that shimmer at all. But that's what it is so it just reminds me of green grass so that's why i pulled that one all right y'all we're on the last row and i tried to pull some toppers but i really didn't find too many toppers that like reminded me of a spring topper or like felt like a spring topper to me so i may try to look and find a couple of more but um i left two on here from my ball rack and I pulled one more so I need to add some more toppers because I do like to add toppers just in case there's a polish and that I want to wear and I'm not really feeling it like I could change it up to make it so that it you know is something that I really enjoy more than just wearing the polish as as it is by itself so this is oh gosh why are these so little y'all Maybe I need to get some more glasses, but I just got these. This is Night at Disney from Setas Lupidas Sparkle and Shine Box, 6 uh, June 2021 from Up Lacquer. Lacquer. Um, 
really do you not see what this gorgeous beautiful polish is doing holy crap y'all that oh my god so excited to wear that so pretty then this was also i've worn this one before this one was on my fall rack and i really wanted to wear it again it's so 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 pretty and um I really like it as a topper, so I'm going to do it again. <laughs> this is Illyrian Dragon's Breath, and it is a really pretty topper. Like, you can't even tell I wore it. There's, like, no, you know, line or anything, but I did wear it. I've been getting in the habit of putting these little dots on the bottom so I know when I've worn a polish, because if not, I will forget. I will wear it again and then I will see it later as a swatch of mine and be like, oh, I did already wear that. It happens all the time. Cosmic Dust from Polish for Days. This was also my fall rack, so it just transferred to my spring rack. I'm not sure if this one gets opaque on its own, but we're going to try it. Um, I will most likely probably end up wearing this one as a topper. Cosmic Dust, it, that just says, to me that name says it's a topper, so... We're going to wear this topper. This is on the bright side from December 2020 PPU from Night Owl Lacquer. It's gorgeous, like lavender purple with some shimmer. I purchased all of the ones from this collection, I think. No, 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 no. I'm thinking about another collection because this is from PPU. Um, it was another spring collection that I purchased all of, and it wasn't this one, but... Those were pretty too. So looking forward to wearing that one. I also pulled Raspberry Nice Cream. This is Chloris de Carol. No idea when or where I bought this. <laughs> it's not BPU, but look how cute. That glitter combination is super cute, y'all. I'm excited to wear this. I might wear this tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um... This is Sweet Bottom from, this was from Easter 2019 for Chloris de Carol. I bought all of the polishes in this collection and they're all really cute. Um, I don't even know if y'all can see, but it has like this, they all have the same like little um, shimmer going on and it does show up on the nails, which you guys can't, y'all aren't seeing it. As I'm seeing it in person, but it's really pretty. And they, I think it's like five different colors and they all have that shimmer. And they all have the same glitter combination too, just in a different base. Um, this is Bloom from Polish for Days. Needs to be shaken up. Like I said, y'all, I've had to pull older polishes, so I did not shake these. So I just threw them on my rack. And they've been sitting, you know, in my drawer or whatever for a while. So I know I've had this one for a while. But I thought it would be perfect for spring, and it definitely still needs to be shaken up some. But it's like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Is it mauve? Maybe a mauve base? Kind of. At least that's what it seems like to me. I also pulled this one. This is Carnival Hangover by Morgan Taylor. Another really pretty pink that I'm looking forward to wearing. And this is Sweet Sunshine. This is a topper I have worn before. I think only once before and it was so cute. I'm going to wear it again. Perfect for spring and summer actually. I could leave it on my rack and wear it for summer as well. I just might do that. And um, lastly, I have, isn't this a glittering sea of hopeful faces? I actually did not have this on my rack, y'all, but I started watching everybody else's spring rack videos and I saw this on my friend Carolina's spring rack and I was like, oh, I've got to put that one on my rack. <laughs> so it ended up getting added at the last minute and I think it's going to be really pretty for spring. Okay, that is all the ones that are currently on my rack. Um, let me show you guys the green ones that I've already worn. So I wore 
There's no place like home from Lucky Lacquer, Lucky Lacquer, Lucky 13 Lacquer. This is a polish that I actually wore on St. Patty's Day and I thought it was really pretty. Um, I wore Watermelon Slide from Blush Lacquer with that really gorgeous gold shimmer. And I wore the Speed Out There from April 2021 PPU from Lollipop Lacquer, Lollipop Posse Lacquer, sorry. It has like a pink, mm, like pink to gold shifting shimmer. Um, I wore Operation Bloodthirsty Bat Removal. I really like that name. This was from July 2020 HHC, Hellingham A Creations. Look how gorgeous that is, y'all. This was so pretty on the nails. I hope you guys can tell from my swatch how pretty this was. That was ugh, so pretty. Really liked that one. I wore Renegade from Cert Colors. It's like kind of a, I don't want to say basic, but it kind of is. It's just like a basic, some basic green. <laughs> Kind of a basic like grass green. Um, let's see. I wore Kokomo from Cert Colors. It's the same um, collection as the purple one that's also on my rack now. This was really pretty on the nose as well. Enjoyed that one. And then I also wore Forget You from Glam Polish. My cat is trying to break in that really cute glitter combination in there. That was really pretty. And she's going to make it in. She's determined. And she's in here. This is not a green one, but this is also one that I already wore off my rack. This is Rainbow Girl. And it was gorgeous as well on the nails. I'm trying to remember now. I'm going to have to go back and look at my pictures because I wore this cute topper um, over one of these polishes, but now I don't remember which one it was. So let me back up. Ah, oh, I did. I wore it over. I wore it over um, the Cirque Colors Renegade. So I wore this combination together. And this is probably the second or third time I've worn this topper. It's so cute, you guys. I love it. I love it. Like, I'm disappointed that there's a fill line, but you guys can tell I've worn it a few times now. And I will probably never find this again because you don't see Hot Topic too many times. You know, you don't actually go to Hot Topic that often. Like, I go maybe two or three times a year, tops maybe. <laughs> So anytime I go in there, I always raid their polishes for, because they always have like sometimes, you know, unique polishes. And this is a very unique topper for my collection, but I really like it a lot. So it was perfect over this Cirque Colors Renegade. Okay, that's it. That is my rack. Um, it will probably change. Most likely, maybe. Um, I'm actually doing really well wearing all the polishes on my, on my, like seasonal racks because I change my polish every day. I didn't used to be a everyday polish wearer, but I've been trying harder to do that because I have so many polishes now that I'm like, even if I only get to wear it for, you know, it ends up being maybe half a day because I may polish my nails maybe like at 10 o'clock in the morning or something and I'll wear it all day and I'll take it off the next day. So, you know, it's not even a full day of wearing it, but at least it's getting worn because if I don't, <laughs> they won't get worn because I have too many. I have too many. Um, so check out all the other videos of um, people doing their spring racks. Again, it's always really fun for us to share the polishes that we're going to wear with you guys. Um, I always get excited watching everybody else's videos and changed my mind multiple times. So I'm like, dang, why didn't I put that on my rack? But luckily, spring and summer, there's not too much of a difference. I typically will gravitate towards maybe brighter, like I do a lot of neons during the summer. 
Um, but really that's the only difference. So some of the polishes that maybe are in other people's spring racks that I'm like, dang, I should have pulled that one. I can put on my summer rack. That makes me feel better. <laughs> So, um, anyway, let me know what you guys are planning to wear for spring. If y'all got, if y'all have any of these polishes and you're planning on wearing them, um, let me know because maybe we could do a twin thing. I really like doing that. Um, if you're watching my video for the, if you're watching my channel for the first time and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up. I have not, I've been very, um, What's the word? Negligent, I guess. Not really negligent. I just haven't had the time. Like, there's so much going on right now. I'm planning for my wedding. I have another wedding that I'm going to be in. Not be in, but I'm participating in. Um, coming up pretty soon. Actually, not even really participating in. I'm just, like, <laughs> doing things for the bride. Um, and that's coming up. Um, we have some trips coming up. Um, I've been doing a lot of swatching. So yeah, it's just a lot going on. Um, and it's kind of infringing on my video time just a teeny tiny bit. But um, don't give up on me. Like, you know, stick around, please. <laughs> I will definitely get better. It, you know, it's just one of those things. So, um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys so, so much. Bye.